and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany with Craft with Bethany, and today I'm going to teach you how to take a placemat and turn it into an adorable clutch. You want to see one? Can you believe this is a placemat? I'm not joking. Literally turned a placemat into a cute little lemon clutch. I love it. And I had so much fun making this and I get so many compliments on it as I've used it this summer that I thought I would show you all how to make one. And then you could literally take any placemat and turn it into a handbag for any holiday, any, any season. So well, let's get started. All right. So let's start making this. Some things you're going to need for this project is obviously a placemat. I picked this one up for 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So it was $2 two dollars the fabric that i use on the inside is just a cotton fabric also from hobby lobby i don't remember how much it was because i've had it on hand for a while scrap fabric you don't need a whole lot you literally just need to cut out a circle that's the same size as your placemat laid out flat today i'm sewing on a singer heavy duty sewing machine and i'm going to set my machine to a straight stitch with a 2.5 millimeter stitch length if you want to go up in stitch length, depending on the thickness of your placemat, you can go up to three or 3.5 millimeters. Totally up to you. I do recommend using a heavier needle. So either a 90 or a hundred weight universal needle or heavy duty, heavy duty needle or a denim needle for this project. The thread I'm using today is just an all purpose thread. I think it's a 40 or 50 weight thread. All right, I don't know about you, but I am ready to get started. So I have set out a few supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need several different types of scissors. I recommend some fabric scissors, some pinking shears, and definitely some little snips. You're also going to need zipper tape. You can also use a pre-made zipper, but I love that zipper tape gives me the flexibility to choose how big I want my zipper to be. And then you're going to need a zipper pull to put on your zipper tape, and I love mixing and matching the colors. Something else you're going to need are Quilting clips, you can use straight pins, but promise that quilting clips are gonna be so much easier. You're gonna need some sort of pin. I'm using a friction pin. You're gonna need a zipper foot for your sewing machine. The first thing we wanna do is decide how big we want our zipper to be. I like to lay my zipper tape out to kind of get an idea. I think I wanna go at least 10 inches for a zipper. So I'm going to measure out 12 inches of my zipper tape. I'm going to cut 12 inches. You will need to adjust the size of your zipper based on your preference and the size of your placemat. The next thing I'm going to do is attach my zipper pull to my zipper tape. Here's a little trick for you. When attaching the pull, you need to know which zipper has the, which side of the zipper has the tooth on top. So when I pull this apart, the top tooth was the right side of my zipper. So I know I want to start by putting this side of the zipper into the zipper pull when I go to attach it. Another trick is to determine which one is longer, even just by one tooth, and then cut a couple of extra ones off of this tooth. So now I clearly have one side that's shorter than the other. I'm going to start by putting this side into the zipper pull. You want to put the zipper in by feeding it in from this side. Once you get that side on, then start adding in the other side. It helps to open up the zipper tape a little more. Once you get both sides in there, hold them and pull your zipper pull down. Sometimes this can take a few tries. There we go. Now that you've got your zipper pull on your zipper tape, we can start marking where we want our zipper to go. I want to make sure that my zipper follows one of the lines on my lemon placemat. So in order to do that, I wanna make sure that I have a clear line here on my lining. So one trick that I have for finding a straight line, center line on your placemat is to use a straight edge ruler line it up with the placemat, the line on the placemat, and you can check it by folding this over and seeing that that's, that's where that line is. So I wanna follow one of the lines that will split the lemon in half equally. So I wanna make sure that my zipper is here. So now that I have that, I am gonna clip, use a few clips to just put a couple clips around the edge to hold 
this fabric in place. Now, in some places, my fabric hangs off the edge. In some places, it's on the inside a little bit. It really doesn't matter. And I will show you why when we get to finishing the lining. But I just want to secure it in place so it doesn't shift. And that's what I love about these clips. Okay, so I want to do a 10 inch zipper. And so I'm starting with my ruler at one edge on that line. And there's 10 inches, but I see that my placemat is about 15 and a half inches. So I'm going to center my zipper between here. So it's in the center of my pouch. This is my center point right here for my placemat. So now I want to add five inches this way and five inches this way. So once I've found the center of my placemat and I know I want my zipper to be 10 inches long, I have a start and stop point and I've drawn a line all the way down. This is going to mark where my zipper goes. It's also important to know how wide your zipper is. I have approximately one and a quarter inch zipper. It's not a very big zipper. So I don't want to go too wide on the opening here um, on either side of my zipper. So I'm going to add a quarter inch to each side of this line to be where I'm going to sew my zipper. Once we have a line marking where we want our zipper to go, we now need to sew around this outside border and then we're gonna cut down the center. So let's go to the sewing machine. Once I had my rectangle in place and my fabric secured all the way around with clips, making sure that I had right sides together. So this is the top of my placemat and this is the right side of my fabric, right sides together. I then went over to my sewing machine and I stitched all the way around this outside line. I did not stitch down the center. I just used a straight stitch with a 2.5 millimeter stitch length and stitched all the way around this outside rectangle. Once I was done with that, I used my big scissors to cut down the center line here. I wanna make sure that I'm cutting all the way down the center through the fabric and the placemat. And then before I get to the very end, I did cut at a slight angle into the corner without cutting my threads. And now you're all caught up from when my camera stopped recording. So let's take our clips off of our placemat and we're now ready to turn this so that the fabric goes to the other side of the placemat. So we're just gonna tuck it in like this. We're gonna do this all the way around. There we go. Just like so. This is going to make the inside of our bag. Okay, but we're not ready to close that up yet. We do want to go back around to the front and we're going to pull this so that it is actually folded in. And this is why I said you're going to want to use clips over straight pins. Because this is hard to clip through or pin through. It's much easier to clip it. So I am finding that seam where my fabric and my placemat meet. And I am tucking that down so we have a nice straight line. And you're going to need quite a few clips for this. You're going to need to clip pretty, pretty often. This is also why I highly recommend using a denim or heavy duty needle for this project because you're now going to be sewing through two layers of the placemat and the fabric. And that is a lot of material. All right. So now that I have this completely clipped all the way around, I'm going to go to my machine and I'm going to start at one end, probably this end, and I'm going to top stitch as close to this edge as I possibly can all the way around. It's going to give us a nice clean opening to add our zipper. I am using my general purpose foot, but I really want to get my needle closer to this edge, but I have all these clips that my foot was bumping into. So what I'm going to do is line my foot up more with this edge and move my needle over. The best way to do that is to adjust your needle position on your machine. So now my needle is in the far left position. So it's going to be closer to that edge without having my foot to move over any closer. And now we're going to sew and you want to make sure you backstitch at the beginning and end. Now 
Now that we've got our opening top stitch, it looks so nice and clean. Now we wanna attach our zipper. I find it easiest to put the zipper pull in the center of the zipper tape. Now that we are going to attach it, we wanna make sure that we are able to keep this in place. So for this situation, I am going to use straight bends. I find it easiest to pin down the zipper, starting with the two ends and then pinning it down along the edge. And you wanna go along the very edge so we're not sewing over them or it's easier to take them out if they're along the edge here. Um, we are gonna pin it from the back. It's a lot easier than trying to pin it from the front where there's so much bulk. Um, but you can pin it however you feel most comfortable for sewing on a zipper. Back over on the sewing machine, I am going to switch out my foot for my zipper foot and I'm gonna put it in the left position. Starting at one corner, we're gonna sew all the way down, across and back down and across, making sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end. Now we have our zipper in place and it opens and closes beautifully. The final two steps is to sew our lining together and then sew the bag together and then we'll be done. So the next thing we wanna do is line up our lining. And again, I like to use my clips. All right, so we are gonna sew from this corner and you wanna make sure you get all the way to this edge, this folded edge, all the way around to this edge. Here we are with our bag and we just sewed our lining together. So it's now a functioning bag. And we wanna fold this right sides together to sew along this edge. But we wanna make sure that this does not get caught in that. So I recommend kind of rolling it up like a little burrito and tucking it in nice and safe. You can't clip it because it will, um, you won't be able to get those clips back out. So just tuck it really well and then we're gonna clip our bag closed. And you wanna make sure these edges are lined up because we can't trim those uh, on our placement. We want that this is what's gonna be visible from the outside. All right, so now that our lemon is folded and pinned and clipped together, we're ready to do our final stitch all the way around the edge. For seam allowance, just so you know, I am choosing to line up the edge of the bag with the ed right edge of my foot and I'm just doing a straight stitch all the way across. All right, the final step is to trim your threads and then you are all done. You just wanna tuck that in, inner lining back into your bag and you're ready to go. How fun was that to make? I know it's a little challenging because of the material we're working with but it's absolutely worth it for this result in the end. I hope you all make some. Please tag me in your pictures when you do at Craft with Bethany on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, here on YouTube. Can't wait to see what you make. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video and my channel so that you're always notified of the next tutorial. And if you aren't aware, I just started a sewing podcast called The Social Hour. Be sure to go follow it on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can listen to our podcast on any major streaming service that there is, and you can watch our podcast on our YouTube channel as well. All right, guys, thanks again for hanging out with me in my studio, in my sewing room, and I will see you next time.